What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and we have to talk about Tesla stock because there is some crazy action going on, and we actually just made some near-term all-time highs, right? We just recently, today, hit $764, and that's actually the highest that we've been in quite a while. You can see that this is actually the third highest this stock price has ever been on any rally, right? The first time we were up at $900. Then we tried getting higher. We tried uh, and ended up hitting uh, $780. And now we're at $767, or at least we were earlier today. So this is the third highest Tesla stock price has ever been. And we are potentially uh, part of a massive bull run that is going to take Tesla much, much higher than this. Now, what just happened today was there was a bit of a pullback, but it actually happened on good news, right? We're down about 0.8%. And uh, I'm surprised to see this, actually, because Tesla just released some great news earlier today. You can see right here, uh, the Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai produced a record number of EVs. And this is actually a really impressive statistic. If you look more deeply into it, you can see that in July, they produced about 32,000 EVs. And the next month, in August, they actually produced 44,000, which is about a 35 or a 34% increase, it says right here, over uh, the previous month. And that's a drastic increase, especially to see in such a short time period. And this is really great news for Tesla because Tesla's bottleneck is often how fast they can produce EVs, right? They have no problem selling their cars. People want their cars. Uh, they're willing to pay hand over fist for them, but Tesla just can't make them quite fast enough, which is actually why they've gotten so expensive because people are willing to pay even though the price has gone up and up. Now, you can see right here on Tesla's actual page, I'll remove myself from the screen for a second. You can see right here, the Model 3 sells for about $40,000. However, if you scroll down, you know, let's uh, say, you know, you want some paint on it and uh, forget the wheels. We'll just take what it has and uh, we'll have the full self-driving capability, right? If you were actually to order this car, this would be delivered sometime in January. Now, it is September 8th, so we still have all of September, October, November, December, and then January. This thing would finally be getting delivered. So you can see that Tesla is definitely oversaturated with orders, and the more cars that they can produce, especially if they can produce them in record numbers, the even better uh, their earnings are going to be and the more the stock price is likely to rise because they'll just be making more and more money and that has people very excited now in a private email that just <laughs> was released a couple of days ago uh elon musk actually touted tesla's stock price right he said it could be worth over three thousand dollars a share and he wasn't just saying this off the cuff right off the bat uh he was actually commenting on arc invest uh etf run by kathy wood and this ETF essentially said that their price target for Tesla in the year 2025 was $3,000. Now, if you look at the current price of $747, uh, you'd be looking at almost a 5x, a 4 to 5x increase in stock price uh, if this thing actually hit $3,000. So that is a very impressive gain uh, to be made just over the course of four years or even less, honestly, because we're almost at 2022 right here. So uh, that would be a massive gain. And Tess, uh, Elon Musk actually agreed with this in an email he sent out to his employees. He said, if we execute really well, I agree with ARK Invest. So that is potentially uh, great news for Tesla, right? Because obviously we are seeing that based off of this, they're producing record numbers of EVs in their factory month over month, 34% increase. That seems like executing effectively. So I think that there's a really good chance that we will be running up quite a bit. If you look at the chart, we can actually see uh, that we have formed some zones of support and resistance. And you can see that we're dipping down a bit today, right? We did actually end up bouncing off of the uh, $740 resistance level. And I don't know if that's going to hold. You know, Tesla does trade kind of volatilely. And I think that potentially we will be bouncing down into the 720 to 740 range again. I don't really expect us to break 720 because all, only good news is coming out for Tesla, right? I haven't heard anything bad over the past while, and it seems to be all good news on Tesla's account. So I think that they will probably continue this uptrend. And if you look at the longer term, you can see that we are actually on a very long uptrend, and we've been going for quite a while. And I do expect that we'll probably continue this and not see any significant pullbacks unless there is some bad news, right? If this earnings call is bad for some reason, I don't know why it would be, uh, especially when you look at the uh, cars that they're producing and uh, cars that they're selling, I think that their earnings will probably be pretty good. And I think that we'll probably continue this uptrend until we hit uh, some really strong resistance, probably around 900, right? That is going to be very tough to break, even on great numbers and great news. I think this will be very tough to break past 900 just because uh, it is such a strong resistance and it is Tesla's all-time high and is honestly quite expensive for Tesla stock. If you look at it from a PE ratio perspective, uh, it is fairly expensive, but I do think that we'll probably be heading in that direction at the very least, and we'll be touching $900 
potentially sometime before the end of this year, but if not, then almost certainly in 2022. Uh, so if you're a Tesla bull, that is good news for you. No, that's just what I think about Tesla. Obviously, this isn't financial advice, and you guys should always do your own research on this kind of thing, but I am very bullish on Tesla, as are a lot of hedge funds and uh, obviously Kathy Woods. So if you've enjoyed this video, then feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. If you don't want to do that, then don't do it. Just click off the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.